Welcome, I'm Emily Rogan. I'm the Senior Program Officer for the nonprofit organization United Policyholders. Through our Roadmap to Recovery program, we are helping campfire survivors navigate the insurance claim and recovery process. For this video update, I'm joined by Kate Anderson. She's the Housing Program Manager with the Town of Paradise. Kate, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Sure, no problem at all. All right, so we are 18 months about after the fire and in the middle of a state shelter in place, which has added additional challenges to the long-term recovery of campfire survivors. So we're doing our best to continue to get information out to survivors. And one program I wanna highlight are the Rebuild Incentive Grants. Can you tell us a little bit more about them? Absolutely. Uh, so through the uh, North Valley Community Foundation, we um, that we had that paid for 50% of the building permit fees that is excluded. Uh, plan check fees, but it was for it is for uh, single family residences. The first grant we had we had used, so they've more or less refunded that. So we're continuing to pay up to 50% of the building fees for um, a residence where they lost their home. But there also are some new uh, uh, permit fee uh, incentives as well. So they have started with uh, Rebuild Paradise Foundation has begun their master plan library. And to support that, the North Valley Community Foundation and the Town of Paradise um, is using a portion of the grant to pay the other 50% on the uh, building permit fees. So if a um, resident uses a mastered plan through Rebuild Paradise Foundation, 100% of their building fee, uh, fees will be covered. Uh, similarly, the uh, grant is also covering 100% for a uh, building permit for a garage if it is associated with a, an MH Advantage manufactured home placement. So MH Advantage is a program through Fannie Mae that um, uh, provides um, some instant equity in the home when they put place a mobile home that is a participant of the MH Advantage program. And North Valley Community Foundation and the Town of Paradise wanted to um, incentivize people to join that program. So they are paying for the uh, garage permitting fees, 100% of that. Uh, in it, another area is multiple dwellings on the same parcel. So it was originally only 50% off for a single family resident, but now uh, the grant is for multi dwellings on the same parcel or other parcels where it is 50% off the building permit fees up to a total of $10,000 uh, and it's $2,500 per door. Um, so uh, for instance, if you had um, two uh, single family residents and an accessory dwelling or a granny unit, you could get up to $2,500 off that second unit. It also applies to multifamily housing. So um, a, a complex that was existing prior to the fire and is building back can get a reduction of 50% on their building fees um, when they have multiple units. Now, uh, they did want to give priority to the uh, grant to the rebuilding of primary residences so only one quarter or 250,000 of the million um, will be used for those secondary dwellings or those uh, multifamily structures. So that is uh, the um, grant through the North Valley Community Foundation that the Town of Paradise just received, the million dollar grant. Um, and I have other kind of things coming up that I'm happy to talk to you about if you'd like. Great, great. So how would a homeowner start the process of applying for the grants, for the permits? 
So the permit fees grants, um, actually there's not really an application process with that. It is more the uh, resident lets them know when they're picking up their uh, permits that um, in most cases the, the building department already knows when someone is building back, they have the historical data. So they will automatically take off that 50% never hurts for the homeowner to make sure that it gets taken off. Mm -hmm. um, but in those other cases where they are, they did use a um, master plan or they did have an MH Advantage manufactured home and wanted to um, get their garage uh, fees per, ta uh, paid for, those are just to um, Remind the folks at the counter, you may be asked to bring in documentation, something similar to, to um, show that you did, you are part of the MH Advantage program. Um, but for the most part, all of that will be taken off at the time that you actually pick up your building permits. Well, that's great. That's a really big um, resource, especially for those who are underinsured when every little bit helps. Um, it sure does. Yeah, another resource we wanted to mention are, you know, the wonderful Town of Paradise Rebuild Advocates. Um, can you talk a little bit about how um, that service is still being offered with the shelter in place order? Absolutely. So we're actually excited. Uh, just this week, we have uh, two new rebuild advocates starting. Um, they are local. Uh, through Cal OES and FEMA, they helped us to develop a program for the Rebuild Advocates, and they had um, donated each a staff member to um, be a Rebuild Advocate. And since then, we have acquired a grant um, through the state of California, um, uh, a planning grant where we could now bring in our local folks. They're being trained and they're shadowing the existing um, rebuild advocates. So um, interestingly enough, both of our rebuild advocates are in the same spot. They lost their homes in the fire, their paradise residences, and they're looking to um, help the community. And, and so it's really nice having some local folks Cal OES and FEMA have been wonderful, um, but it also helps to have that local. I think it makes um, our citizens feel right at home that you're talking with shared experience. So the Rebuild Adv Advocate Program is um, alive and going and available. So um, we just would like anyone who's looking to rebuild, we'd love to talk to them about what resources are available to overcome it, help them overcome any obstacles they might be facing. So they're really there to help you get from the very beginning to the keys and welcome home stage. Uh, right now with the COVID-19, we are not able to have face-to-face -face interactions. The um, Building Resiliency Center is by appointment only and really those appointments are just for um, the building department, picking up plans, dropping off plans, um, things like that. But we, uh, you can call um, our regular number, 872, excuse me, 530-872-6291, and uh, either extension 429 or extension 430. Those are both of our advocates. You can call, set up an appointment. They will go through a conference call with you, see where you're at, and see where they can help in any way. They really have a lot of resources that they can refer you to, help you fill out applications, whatever is necessary. But do keep in mind this is for rebuilding. So um, unfortunately, at this point, we can't help renters um, find rental units or anything like that. We're not uh, disaster case managers, that's still through, um, you know, 211 and the long-term recovery group and all of that. All right, thank you so much. So in addition, United Policy Holders um, is offering two free webinars in May to help answer your insurance and recovery questions. They're going to be held on May 7th and May 21st, both at 6 p.m. 
and um, we're happy to answer you know any questions you may have about about your insurance and recovery and you can register by visiting our campfire page which is uphelp.org camp and that is where we also have our campfire library with a lot of publications and information um, so uh, Kate are there any other announcements you have um, possibly just two, and, uh, and I'll keep them quick. Um, so the State Water Recovery uh, Control Board, I believe that's the correct acronym, um, we're working together, the county and the town, anywhere in the burn scar on a septic tank replacement program for those who were underinsured or uninsured where they have a gap. Um, we also have our deferred loan program where um, we can assist, help people through our owner-occupied rehab. It's actually reconstruction, so we can help uh, fill that gap to um, help you rebuild the home. That one has a few uh, qualifications like you own the property on the day of the fire, you're building back on the same lot, you um, have some income guidelines. So. Um, but that definitely is available for most. Um, those are primarily the, uh, the ones for the town. And um, just a reminder that the Rebuild Paradise Foundation also has the missing middle grant for uh, pre-development costs. And then they have the residential plan library or the master plan library. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. And we really encourage um, everyone to, if they haven't already, to reach out to the Rebuild Advocates if they need to. And um, again, thank you so much, Kate. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much.